The Blazers are back. The offseason was short, but not lacking in activity. There are many new faces, including a new head coach in Chauncey Billups. And with the changes, a new focus on defense. Tonight, it's game one of the preseason. Time to shake off the rust and put the training camp work into a real game. The Golden State Warriors ended the season with questions of their own, but the return of Clay Thompson to team with Steph Curry should help this group get back to playoff form. It's the city by the bay in Rip City, and it starts right now. Welcome, everybody, to Portland, Oregon, USA. Beautiful weather. The fans are here. They are back after a long, long wait, and they are excited to see basketball on the floor live and excited to see what the Blazers are all about. The Golden State Warriors, an interesting ball club, 39 and 33 a year ago. Draymond Green, the Olympic experience with Damian Lillard, the Portland icon, now wearing the gold medal. Here at Moda Center, already the fans are here. They've been here for the last hour and a half, and they are jacked up and ready to go. We are excited as well. Welcome in, everybody. Lamar Hurd, Brooke Olsendam. I am Kevin Calabro, and delighted to be here. Believe me. <laughs> uh, a lot of changes, Lamar. Obviously, you start at the top with Chauncey Billups. We've had the great experience of being here in his first camp as a head coach, watching all week impressions. It's been a lot of fun. You can see Coach Billups, he wants to instill a defensive-minded team. That's the approach they're taking. There have been some new additions to help fortify that defense, strengthen it, tighten it up. And Cody Zeller, that's your five-man off the bench coming in from Charlotte. Very steady in the post. Won't wow you with athleticism, but gets to the right spots. Athletic enough. He'll be on that rim every once in a while, Kev. But for the times he's not, Larry Nance Jr. will, because he can be a playmaker out the pick and roll, get downhill, make the right pass, or finish himself. Also can shoot the ball. He and, Tony, uh, and Cody have a nice little mid-range game. Tony Snell, one of the league's best three-point shooters, hands down. He won't be going tonight, but when he's back, you'll see that defense and the three-point shooting with them. And then Ben McLemore, last season, almost 77% of his overall attempts came from the three-point line. So he'll shoot them in bulk. But let's get back to Cody. That is the man with the plan in the interior. He can play pick and roll defense, communicates really well. Just a consummate professional. You hear that a lot yeah. just in the week that uh, in training camp, his teammates talked about him. Now, Larry's super excited, not only for the Timbers and the Thorns, huge soccer guy, but to be a mainstay <laughs> with this Blazers front line on both ends of the floor. Has similar capabilities as Rocco off the ball defensively, so look out for that. There goes Ben McLemore, the shooter. Also athletic, can get downhill himself, can score. Had a Was in a dunk contest with Dane back in the day. He's looking to get back with them. There's a lot of excitement going on, Kev. Well, those are the older guys now that give you that experience, but they have the young guys like Nasir Little and, of course, Anthony Simons. And I think they are ready to pop. We'll hear more from Chauncey Phillips when Brooke Olsendam joins us in a moment from Motor Center. Basketball is back. Welcome back to Moda Center and the Blazers' first preseason game. They're welcoming the Golden State Warriors, and tip-off is right around the corner. Tonight is also Chauncey Billups' first game as head coach of your Portland Trail Blazers. So, is he anxious? Is he excited? Earlier tonight, I caught up with him and asked him how he's feeling. I feel good. I feel good. Uh, I'm not nervous at all right now. I'm pretty <laughs> sure when it gets a little closer, I might be a little nervous, but... Um, Feel good about everything. Um, had a good shoot around this morning. Mm -hmm. Guys ready to go, it should be cool. We had the chance to watch training camp this past week. It really went smoothly from how we saw it. How did you feel it went? I thought it went good. I did, I thought it went good. I mean, we had, we had the opportunity to get a lot of stuff in. Um, so, you know, guys head was probably spinning a few <laughs> of those days, but it was just so good to get out there and compete. Um, and then just kind of understand what we want offensively and defensively and how we want to play and so um, I thought it was great. Did anyone or anything stand out to you? Um, I think probably the biggest thing for me is just everybody's level of engagement you know um, and it's training camp because I can just remember as a player like I would I would be so uh, I never look forward to training camp <laughs> it was just so hard you know um, but these dudes are really really engaged uh, really enthusiastic um, they really tuned in to like some of the new language and verbiage that we were putting out there on both ends of the floor. Um, some of the ways we want to play defensively, some of the ways we want to play offensively. 
And it's an adjustment. Mm -hmm. It's an adjustment, you know, so, but it was cool. What is your approach to these preseason games? I know you're not going to approach them as regular season. You said that during training camp, but is this just kind of a time to get creative with lineups? Yeah, I mean, um, we only have four, obviously. Um, and so you want to use them to, to evaluate, you know, evaluate different lineups, um, evaluate different um, rotations, if you will. And also, it's it's a fine line, you know, um, how much you want to play your veterans and how much you want to let them get a little rhythm mm -hmm. and how much to, all right, that's enough. We'll do it in practice tomorrow. So that's, you know, that's like a, that's like a puzzle you try <laughs> to put together, you know. Well, good luck with that puzzle tonight, Coach. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, it has been a minute, but we are back. Tip off in mere minutes. Here's the great Mark Mason with the starting lineups. Welcome back, everybody. Lamar Hurt, Kevin Calabro. You heard Brooke Olsen Dam with Chauncey Billups, 17 years a player in the NBA, one year as an assistant coach with the Los Angeles Clippers a year ago with Teron Lou as the head man. And so here he is coaching his first game at any level and his starting lineups and the Warriors starting lineups presented by Wilsonville Toyota, the no bull dealership with one person, one price, one great experience. Damian Lillard coming off a year where he averaged nearly 29 a game, seven and a half assists. Lillard in his 10th year. C.J. McCollum alongside got off to a marvelous start last year before breaking the left foot in the 13th game of the year. Still averaged a career high a year ago. One of the biggest pickups of the year in the league was the re-signing of Norman Powell here in Portland. Very, very important for their plans moving forward. The 28-year-old veteran Coming off a year with the Blazers, where he averaged 17 points per ball game, coming over midway through the year. Robert Covington alongside, and Yusuf Nurkic, who looks slim down. The 27-year-old, 6'11", now in his eighth year, can it be? Steph Curry, 32 a game, a career high a year ago. Jordan Poole alongside. Andrew Wiggins got the vaccination yesterday. He is in the lineup. He averaged nearly 19 a game last year. Draymond Green spent, well, a lot of this summer with Damian Lillard on that Olympic team where Steve Kerr was an assistant, picking up the Olympic gold as well. Kerr joined by Ron Adams and Kenny Anderson on the bench. And Chauncey Billups, we told you about his chops. He was once the MVP of the finals in 04 when they won the championship in Detroit with Larry Brown as his coach. And it's been an interesting start for Billups in the camp. Uh, he's got a very talented staff alongside. We'll, of course, be introducing a number of those names tomorrow as we work through the broadcast. But know this, he has alongside Scott Brooks, a 10-year pro in this league, and, of course, has coached some great ones like Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant when he was in Oklahoma City, James Harden, uh, Wall, Beal, and then Roy Rogers alongside as well, who's the defensive coach of this team, the 48-year-old from Linden, Alabama, who's a veteran in this league in Brooklyn, Boston, Detroit, Washington, Houston, and Chicago. The tip won by the Blazers, and the emphasis this year is most uh, obviously the defense. It is the defense, but also trying to maintain that prolific offense. The Blazers last season had the second-best net rating offensively in league history. So they're going to look to do that again, but differently. They want better ball movement early in possessions. They want the hit-ahead pass, more people involved in different ways. But this is the end of the floor where it's obvious that's where the improvement has to be made. Little pick and slip on the wing, and Kevon Looney, you can do that. Nice short touch for the big man out of UCLA. Curry presses up on Damian Lillard. Across it comes here to Nurkic. High post, 15 to shoot. Lillard getting one on the wing, fading away and knocking it down over Looney. Good action. Anytime Dame has that much space, you take that shot. But then you also had Nurk rolling with no big body to box him out. So that's one of those types of sets. Blazers getting some side-to-side -side action. You get two advantages, one Dame with the ball, Nurk rolling as a rebounder. Lillard gets out on Curry, forces him to the middle, and now the Warriors work with six on the shot clock and nearly give it away. Out to Poole, he's got to force up a deep three off the mark, and a real nice defensive stand there for the Blazers. A lot of clubs in the NBA want to get their offense going in the first six seconds or so, and the more you can work that clock down, the better your defense is going to be. You see Powell going right to work. That's the other thing the Blazers have emphasized in the camp this week is 
at transition. Getting back on defense and then offensively getting into their sets with pace. Here's the inbounds to Powell. Fall away jumper. Got it. Give Lillard the assist and Wiggins now comes the other way. Picked up by Robert Covington Jr. Curry doubled in the corner. Fades and fires. That one glances off the iron. No reset. Out it comes here to Green in low. And off balance is Wiggins stumbling over there and a foul. Nerd's going to go to the handoff, set a screen, and then roll to the basket. Dame gets a good look, and now he makes the pass to Norm going to the left. But we saw Norm before that coming off hard to the right hand. Oh, that's something that we got used to last year when he joined the team. And he can go both ways, but going to that right, it's almost unstoppable at times. <laughs> He's so powerful. Yeah. Well, what's it going to take for the Trailblazers during a win today? Let's take a look at the local Ford store keys of the game. What First preseason game, Coach Billups has been talking about the attention to detail in every way. That's something the team's going to be keen in on. And then just get familiar with one another. Like Coach said before the game, he, he's never coached before. <laughs> he's never been the head coach for a game at any level. So his players are continuing to get used to him, his own coaching staff. But so far, from what we've seen in training camp, this looked pretty good. Jordan Poole from long range, third year pro out of Michigan. Shot 35% from three a year ago. CG on the exchange from Nurk goes right to the body. Good, strong finish right at the rim. Over That's Lindy. it. That's what you want to see from the big man. Poole the other way. The yeah. green light is on for Poole, who knocks down another one in transition. Well, half the splash is on the bench right now <laughs> for Golden State. So before he comes back, Poole trying to establish himself. Great pass from Nurk. Didn't get the finish. Bullet pass out ahead to Green, deflected. He'll recover. Looney shot off by Nurkic, 16 to shoot, out on top, set shot away for Wiggins. And racing into the corner to retrieve is Looney. Back to Green for the reset. So the Warriors up to their own tricks, firing those threes early on the clock. And that's one of the things that they are really hoping for, that Draymond Green can become again the shooter he was at one time. He was a really good shooter for them in the past. Good ball movement from the Blazers. Good inside out. CJ got a good look, pulled the other way. With no one with him, he'll fire another three. And why not after the results of the first two? Rebound to Damian Lillard. CJ McCollum going to work. Hooks it to Nurk. He'll be shooting a few threes this year. I don't know how many. <laughs> well, he was 40% last year with 12 makes. Nurk into the lane, defending Wiggins, a strip, and a foul called in deep on Roko. This is where you want to see Nurk establish himself first, down in that paint. He's bigger than most people he plays against. On the roll, CJ makes the right pass. Nurk using that body to knock the guy back first. He's typically at his best when he catches, gathers, takes his time, assesses what's going on, reads his advantage and then punishes that defender. And in listening to Phillips, it seems like that ball, if it doesn't happen the first time, and he reposts, he's more likely to get it the second time, yeah, which is and, encouraging and, for a big guy, right? And on a repost, on a kick out than a repost, you can get a little deeper. You can get a foot closer to the rim, get better positioning. Warriors up six, early going. Rocco, good entry in deep. Mm -hmm. Nurk does his work early, turns, but got the ball too low where Looney could get a piece, and it's ripped away. And now it's Steph Curry wheels out of backcourt with it. Pitches a no look up ahead to Green. CJ takes a glance down the floor immediately to Lillard. Curry reads it, saves it. Grabbed by Wiggins, deflected away by CJ, but Wiggins regains control. Wiggins on the back cut from Curry. Draws two defenders, leaving Poole open. Blazers want to pick up the pace, get into their offense early as they do there with CJ. He gets another good look, but defending was Wiggins. Green filling the wing, lays it up and in. He got away from Norman Powell. Timeout on the deck as the Warriors have come out to an eight point lead. Seven and a half left here in the first quarter from Moda. Ball movement, the hit ahead, the excellent passing. Blazers defense will be tested. Welcome back.
at Tomoda Center where the Warriors are currently leading the Blazers 14 to 6 with 7.36 to go in the first. Well, I'm pretty sure Larry Nance Jr. has not stopped smiling since he got to Portland. He told me he has always admired this organization, the team, and of course, the fans. Earlier, I asked him how excited he was to play in front of the Rip City faithful. Yeah, no, I can't wait. I can't wait. I spoke about, you know, when I got here, I spoke about, you know, these, these guys breathing on your neck when you're the opposing team. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to hear it, um, you know, in support of me uh, tonight. So hopefully I can make a few shots and get these guys, uh, you know, behind me even more. Larry in his seventh year, initially he started off playing for the Lakers and then on to the Cleveland Cavaliers, born in Akron, Ohio. And of course, Larry Nancy, a great player, an icon for so many years. And he's keeping up the proud tradition of the family for sure. Lillard the slash bounces out to Rocco. Juggled it as he went into the air. The three is short, Curry the rebound, and running out is Wiggins to grab it over the shoulder. Dame's got to defend on the post. Wiggins, pretty nice looking fade. And it rattles it in. Golden State came to play. You can feel a certain intensity level from them. The Blazers haven't played them in the preseason since 2016. And anytime you get the explosive backcourts together, Draymond Green on the court, we can get electric. No timetable on the recovery with Clay Thompson. This CJ exploding in there and just set the table for Nurk. Direct line drive. He has been the beast here in the early going. He's got to the rim with authority. Uh, He's so passionate. Yeah, that's what they want. That's what they want from him. Even the time he got it stripped away, the footwork was good. He just walked the ball down low. And that time, CJ sets him up nicely. So all he's got to do is quick dip and explode. On the inbounds is cool. The scoop defended by Nurk inside. And the Blazers will relinquish possession. 14 to shoot. Six and a half to go here in this first quarter of play. Warriors, of course, won 15 games back in 1920. Injury racked year. Green inside to Wiggins. And again, the Blazers meet him at the rim. Lamar. Nice recovery. Norman, the pull up three. Curry dancing across midcourt with the dribble. And reaching in was Damian Lillard. There goes some of that transition defense for the Blazers being put to the test. We saw during training camp a lot of drills where the defense was at a disadvantage. And as your teammate is running back into the play, what you want to do as a defender is force a pass. The more passes you force, the greater opportunity you give that trailing teammate or teammates to catch back up into the play. Steph Curry able to just get by everybody and get to the rim. That's Sierra Little stepping in. Now in his third year, Little playing last year 48 games, 13 minutes a night. His body is chiseled, his yeah. mind is right. He is rid of COVID that really did just rattled his world. And you can imagine back in December, they were in camp. He got off to a tough start because of the, the illness. And he said he always seemed like he was trying to make up ground. Now here he is with a new coach who's going to invest and empower both he and Simons, the younger players, give an opportunity to really pop and come on the scene and make an impact. Dirk, his second three of the night. That one looks good, and it is a beauty. He's got it. He can pop out, stretch the defense, knock it down. Avery Bradley in the lineup, sneaks into the corner. The three is off. Rocco will square it the other way. Here's Nasir Little, driving kick. Rocco got his feet set, and he drills the three. Nice shot from Rocco. That's one of those shots, Kev, make or miss. Coach Billups would be happy with that possession because there was quick swing, quick attack, draw the help, kick out to a credible shooter. You live with the results, but that's the type of movement that Coach Billups wants. Ooh. They put a crossover on Curry, but that one rattles off. Into the hands of Bielitsa. Go get it. Loco just took it away from Bradley in midair. Off the ball, he's a magician. Dave behind the back on the Nurkic screen. Nurkic rolling past too far out in front. Wiggins will recover. Quickly ahead to Curry. Pumps it behind the back pass intended for Bradley out of bounds. 
Norm goes right back to Nurk. Has the space. Cashes in on the opportunity. And Nasir with a quick drive on the catch. Gets the open shot for Roko. Little comes off the staggered screen. Got in deep. And he saw Green coming at him. And shuffled his feet. Turnover. And the Warriors will take it back. It's too bad. He was about to get hit by Steph Curry. Would have been a foul against Curry. So the Blazers working Powell and Lillard together at the guards with Rocco and Little up front with Nurkic as the Blazers will try to throw a number of combinations on the floor. Put Little on the ball right now. Curry up top met by Nurk. He'll recover into the paint. Bradley's shot is off. Nurk lost the handle, but Rocco picks it up, and that pass had no chance. Bradley the other one. Iguodala in the lineup. Yes, still in the lead at the <laughs> he age sounded of 37. surprised. Here's Bradley outside triggering short. Andre Iguodala, 18 years in the NBA. Former champion, part of the depth lineup. Here's Lillard outside for three. Rebound recovered by Iguodala, who's never been out of shape. Out ahead it comes to Bradley. Eight minutes gone by. And the Warriors on top by four. Curry defended by Lillard. Uh -huh. his Not this year. Feet. Here, White. Not this year. Those are the calls right there. When the offensive player tries to launch into a defender in unnatural motion, it can either be an offensive foul if there's enough contact or if it's marginal, as the refs deemed in that last shot by Steph Curry, then it's a no call. I'm not sure how to feel about that, but we'll sort that out. Bielitsa finds a loose ball. Curry into the lane. It is a preseason game, but look at the contact as Curry goes into the body of Nasir Little. Back comes Dane. That's that early look and quick transition. He's found from behind by Bielitsa. So, so here's a play. Steph Curry pops back, gets Nasir into the air. Nasir basically lands, though, before he makes contact with Steph Curry. So that's what the officials are talking about trying to change. Now, why aren't you sure about it? What's your, what's your well, problem? The one, the one issue I have is when that offensive player beats the defender mm -hmm. and he is not allowed to, to get out then, and, and now he has beaten the defender, and he's not allowed to get out in front of the defender who's trying to recover and suddenly pull up on the brakes. That's considered an no, offensive No, you can do that. Battle. You can. You can do that. Okay. It's, but it's do you bulldoze through that defender's body? Well, or, no, that obviously is going to be an offensive. Yeah, I'm so talking if about you get you in front, beat, beat him, stop, him. Yeah. and you get hit, that's still a defensive foul. Well, no, I got to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Here's Lillard at the line. So then, overall, you do like the new rule, though, to take away yeah, when somebody's I, not really beat like that. We've seen it too many times with the offensive player oh. kind of lean in and flop and that kind of thing. Right, that's what I'm against. 3.15 left first quarter, timeout on the floor. And the Warriors on top, 21-16. Go get it. <laughs> They'll come out of nowhere to make big plays like that. Warriors out on top of the Blazers, 21-16. 3.15 left, first quarter from Motor Center. Fans happy to be back seeing basketball live here on the hardwood whether it's cheering on rip city for the win or helping you with your banking first tech federal credit union is all about the assist first tech proud to be the official credit union of the portland trailblazers anthony simons comes out onto the floor with cody zeller and this here little larry nance Junior in for the first time tonight as well for the Blazers. We'll see Jay McCollum to complete the five. Nance dribble handoff and a good move, but couldn't finish. And a seer little. Back comes Otto Porter Jr. along with Avery Brad. Iguodala. Bielitsa, who can also handle it a little bit out there for a big guy, but he can shoot the lights out of the three. As we so many times the Blazers played the Sacramento Kings. Jordan Poole will trigger the three as well. Porter outside. It's his turn. He'll knock it down. Porter trying to come back with an injury, a sprain, and then a fracture of the left foot. He's out for 51 games in the 1920 season. 
Here's Simons for three. We know he can do that yeah. prolifically, right? 42 and a half percent last season. That was 14th best percentage wise in the league. So he's got that combination of a great three point shooter and then the athleticism good enough to win the slam dunk contest last year. First little, trailblazer to do that in history. Little way up top to grab the rebound. I guess the question about Simon is does he have the handle to get those backup point guard minutes? Here he comes off the screen to pull up. A cast hard off the iron. That gives Otto Porter Jr. a chance to glance down the floor. Well, that's going to be the next step for Anthony, showing that consistently throughout an entire season, he can handle those point guard duties. Iguodala gives up what I thought was going to be a lay-in outside of Bradley for the three that's off. Bradley, always a steady defender, picks the pocket of Nasir Little. Lesson learned. Be wary of Bradley. You got to watch out for him. <laughs> it was just a few years ago where Damon CJ would tell you when you ask him who's the best perimeter defender in the league, it'd be him, Avery Bradley. Zeller, good screen setter, trying to spring Simons. Oh, hold on. CJ says Bradley uh, miscalculated and knocks down the three. I guess things have changed. <laughs> Poole, who hit that three early in this first quarter play, will dribble drive in deep. Bradley trying to atone, misses the three, and Little comes down with another defensive grip. Zeller, solid screen on Poole. Simons leans in for three, long board, Iguodala. Bielitsa leaks, nobody with him. They lay it up and blew it. The extra effort. The Manfredi threw him off, but he had Nasir having his back. Good take by Naz. It's good aggression, yeah. but Poole makes a good defensive play. Simons crowds Porter, comes up with a pick. We're working now with 17 seconds left. One last shot for the Blazers, who trailed here by one. I was trying to foul on the floor. Three George Poole. runs to the ball, show, and then go. You got to chase so hard just to catch up with him. He changed directions. On the inbound, CJ strokes a three. Shot 40% from three last year. Pool the other way will trigger a deep Ooh. one and got it. His third three pointer of the first quarter for sure. Pool will take a look, but it sure looked like it left his fingertips in time. And the Warriors, as a result, will lead here by one at the end of one. From Moda, great to be back in the gym, isn't it? Well, the Warriors on top here by one. Jordan Poole's three at the buzzer to end the first quarter was good. One of three that he hit in the first period of play. It's time now for the Pacific Office Automation Statistics. The Warriors open up five of 20 from three. The Blazers were five of 12. CJ hit a couple. Robert Covington added a three, and so did Yusuf Nurkic and Anthony Simons. Struck from long range as well. Damian Lee in the lineup now with Jordan Poole. Bielitsa in deep, covered by Little Poole will trigger another three. Poole was uh, third last year. All-time franchise among rookies for threes attempted. Or actually, that goes back two years ago. He's a third-year pro. Behind, as you probably know by now, Curry and Thompson. Over 200 attempts. So get the green line inside as CJ sneaks to the end line and laid it in. And a beautiful look on a high line. Yeah, Anthony with the head up. CJ setting it up. Looks like he's going to come off the screen. Defender jumps to the high side. He goes back door and has the entire lane open. He leads it covered by Nance. Off to cool check by Little. And a three. That's why they were excited to get him. He fits how they play already. A career 387 percenter from three. Simon's checked by Lee. They put some length on him. CJ in deep, master of the midway. He got, he got the switch. Had Bielitsa on him. 
and he knew that all he needed was a few seconds to work himself into the shot he wanted. CJ ended up shooting 40 percent from three years ago. Got up to the great start in the first dozen ball games until broken foot. Clint Capella stepped on the left foot in a hairline fracture. It really was too bad because it looked like CJ was on the way to his first All-Star season. Making five threes a game, playing like that as well, wow. driving, yeah, putting his shoulder in people. Bully ball. He has been in the weight room, no question. Yeah, he has. And I know we say that every year about most of these players. He's added 10 pounds of muscle, but I mean, it is noticeable on CJ. He leaves it's it's it down it's another it's jump. It's 12, 12 for CJ. Pounds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that made the, the, made the difference. Yeah. Of course, as many minutes as he plays, he just gets shredded during the year. Yeah. CJ the three that one off the mark and back up the way typically runs more miles per season than anybody else in the league Blazers trying to make it their campaign to reduce the minutes that Lillard and CJ spend out on the floor and one solution will be this guy Simons if he pops this year inside nice pass and you see the footwork of Cody Zeller to lay it in that's some of what I was talking about in the open to tonight's game where Cody just does the right thing a lot. Very solid, fundamentally sound, gets a position after running the floor, shows the basketball, gathers, goes up with strength, and can finish. Ninth year pro, all spent in Charlotte. It was actually a Bobcat his rookie year. And then became a Buck. Uh, he's been in two playoff series, but early in his career, the last time he was there in 16. So the prospects of being in postseason with the Blazers, who have made it eight consecutive years, is tantalizing to Zilla. Guys running at Otto Porter Jr. in the corner. He gives way to Iguodala. Open three is off. Long board. Dame's pass to flex away. Unfortunate turnover, Kev, because I thought that last defensive possession gave us a really good look into the main difference of how the Blazers are playing the ball screen. They want to meet the ball handler at the level of the screen, keep the ball out of the paint, and that forces you to rotate on that backside. It takes yeah. communication, basketball IQ, and effort. You got to make those extra effort type plays. And they did it to get that stop before nice. the turnover. That's a nice pass inside to Nance, who makes the extra pass to Zeller. And he had a, a pretty good look as he pivoted to the rim, but just lost a handle, jabbed out of bounds. It'll be Warrior Ball. Already we've seen Nance try to make that second pass to get you a better shot. He's just going to be invaluable, I think, uh, when Blazer guards are doubled or trapped. Yes. They blitz him. Yes. He's already passed up on a couple of shots when he first came into the game. So those will be shots he'll decide to pull up on. Later on. Score tied at 34, eight and a half left in the second. Back to Rip City in a moment. At Moda, great turnout, and Brooke Holza Dam was there. I was, Kev, and it was a huge success. Chauncey took the fans through one of their defensive drills. The scrimmage was close. Ant won MVP, but the most entertaining part, as always, was the rookie dance-off led by Dame. Greg Brown and Trenton Walford were out there, of course, but because there was no fan fest last season, Dame demanded that CJ Ellaby and Nasir Little join in as well. Now, guys, there was singing after this, but I won't put y'all through that. It was impromptu, so they didn't have time to warm up those vocal cords. It was kind of painful, but hilarious. Brooke, thanks for being on the scene. <laughs> it's always such a fun event. And each of the coaches made mention of, of how impressed they were with the turnout. Coach Phillips saying, all the teams I've been associated with, I don't, I don't know that I've seen that type of attendance for a preseason, before a preseason game is even played, gathering. Players always have a great attitude about it, too. They put yeah, on they a do. real good show. Yeah. Zeller sets one of those Zeller screens and a foul. There is Mr. Big Shot, dubbed Mr. Big Shot by Ricky Mahorn, one of the original bad boys, who was doing the TV broadcast in Detroit. And that was shortly after Billups joined the Pistons. His first year with the Pistons, and uh, the coach was Rick Carlisle, who was playing Chucky Atkins late in ball games in the fourth quarter. Although Chauncey was the starter, <laughs> and he went to Carlisle and said, "Hey, hey, man, I'm the starter, I should be playing in the fourth <laughs> quarter." Carlisle said, "Well, yeah, you're right," and so they did. And so, in the spring of that year, and 
span of two weeks, he hit game-winning shots. One was against the Warriors. He had a three over Chris Mills. Kind of like that yeah. from the wing where Damian Lillard strikes. And the rest, of course, is history. They go on to the championship the next year with Larry Brown became the coach. Chauncey was the MVP of the finals that year. And I know you you repeated the quote that Chauncey gave the writers in the pregame. That, hey, I've never coached a game before at any level. But look, point guard, 17 oh, years. Yeah. He's coached a lot of games. Yeah. Before. Oh, I, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree. He, he has fought like a coach for a very long time. He's a humble guy. Very much so. He, you know, he has a, a unique ability to say, I've been there and done that without saying, I've been there and done that. When he talks to the players, the way he delivers certain messages, it, it, it's just understood. Like there was this one drill as Nasir gets the three-point shot where they're talking about how to guard when you're off the ball. And, and Coach Brillup jumps into the drill and starts to walk it through it. He's talking through it like he's going through it in real time, like he's on the floor. As you see, a chance for an and one here for the Warriors. And there's a, it's those kind of moments where the players almost feel like it's, just, it's another one of them out there. Yeah. He just happens to be the leader. Look at Poole with the crossover, draws the body, so he's already established himself from behind the three point line. Now getting to the basket. Yeah, he's talked about accountability, responsibility, Brooke, and. Uh, and just being enthusiastic. Absolutely, guys. And, you know, he recently told me what it felt like to become the head coach for the Blazers. He said, it's really surreal. It really is. This is a dream job for me. I always said if I had the opportunity to be a head coach at a storied franchise, basketball rich, great fans, that would be a dream for me. He also has said numerous times to me how difficult it was to play and coach against the Blazers here in Portland. So he's very happy to be on the other side of it. But, yes, a dream job for Chauncey. Well, and Brooke gets an assist tonight because Chauncey, I just happened to be right behind Chauncey as we came into the building. He didn't know where the coach's office was. So Brooke took him through our media command center, which is kind of a, a back way through a labyrinth of tunnels to get back to the, the coach's room. And then from there, Chauncey didn't know where to go. So I led him the rest of the way. And we got into the office, and there he was sitting at that desk beneath that framed picture of Jack Ramsey, the great late. Dr. Jack and I said man that's Jack Ramsey goes that's a legacy he says yeah he, says, he smiled he said it is kind of cool yeah. Yeah, absolutely I'm, I'm glad we were there to see that yeah. Kevin it was pretty priceless like like you mentioned <laughs> I just turned around and he's standing right behind my desk I'm like oh hi big game he said my fob didn't work where do I go and so we take him through Blazers broadcasting and everyone's like hi coach I'm like say hello to your new head coach and then you and I go through that second door and then he tries to go left I go no you're going back where you came from so then we got him to where he was supposed to be but you know when you think about it he hasn't been in this building very much yes for fan fest but you know now he knows how to get there thanks to, to you and me Kev and as he was walking into the locker room remember what he said he said well there's a sideline story for you yeah. <laughs> and uh, coach lost uh, uh, and he was right we we're all over that <laughs> Well, these guys are uh, obviously creatures of routine, so that may be something he does every night for game. I don't know. Here's Toscano Anderson into the lane, jabbed away by Powell. And a good hustle play by Rocco to give up the body and get the ball back. I don't know if he wanted to take that hit. <laughs> he just not happened the, to be there in the spot. The preseason. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> now, Cody, Cody Zeller will take that. Yeah. He'll do it in a, in a pickup game. Nurkic and Powell along with Ben McLemore now in the corner where he's just deadly in the offensive end. Dame up top. Rocco takes another hard spell into the lane a little bit. Jump pass finds Norman outside for three. Powell with a three. When Norman joined the Blazers last season, he was shooting 44% from the three-point line. Sizzling. Green off to Curry. Touch and shoot. Dame works on the Powell screen, jump pass across the floor. Rocco for three. Nurk keeps that ball up top and got hammered as a result. Good rebound in deep as Green and Wiggins were in there digging away at it. Yeah. Green, Green, Third, Dame last year had the most assist for a three-point shot, more than anybody in the league. As the Blazers set a, set a franchise record for their threes. We're making 15.7 a game. The second most in the league. They shot the second most right at about 41. But Damian Lillard was the main guy 
getting downhill, finding those shooters who were spotted up. It's CJ out there. Oh, yeah. yeah the way CJ started. Yeah. He, he won't look to do that again this year. Well, you were mentioning that 11 threes attempted in the first 13 yeah. games, shooting 44%. Toscano jabbed away by Dame, and then Rocco after him. Good scrambling defensively by the Blazers to help recover, scramble, get the body up. Here comes the other way. Dame draws two defenders. Nurk rolling and slapping it away was Toscano and Green there as well. Good patience from Nurk on the catch. He saw Draymond Green sprints up into the play, trying to sit underneath Nurk, force him to handle the rock. He took his time, got it to his guard, and was rewarded with the ball back. C.J. McCollum on the bench, leading the way with a dozen for the Blazers. Powell over to Lillard. Facilitating tonight to Powell for three. Nurk keeps it alive craftily, steering it away from Green, but he gets it back slyly. Swinging ahead here to Toscano. Lee for three. I mentioned Clay Thompson coming off the right Achilles tear and ACL before that. He has not played basketball for 800 days, but happy to report because we all like Clay. He's a tough competitor. You hate seeing him coming into your building. Just as they hate seeing this guy coming <laughs> into the building, let her own Damian Lillard. But Clay is uh, on no sort of timetable. Hasn't been cleared yet to jump in practice, but they, they really love the way he has been coming along. And then James Weissman out as well, recovering from a right knee meniscus tear. He's not ready yet. No timeline on him. Here's Powell for three. Got it. Norman Powell is fouled in the act. Brent Barnicky with the call. Green doesn't like it, but it's a good call. And to the line, the Blazers send Norman Powell. Stretch that dribble out to the left. Rolls up, high release. Chance for four. Now, from my perspective, you got it, but I'm looking at this thinking, okay, he did get the ball. Now you second, now you second guessing? Kind of turned him around a little bit in midair. It was done, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Norman Powell got that new contract over the summer. Five years. Sounds good, said Bro Rosendam during the game show and in interview. Oh, absolutely. Inside Wiggins. Wiggins can be murder in deep. He's so long at 6 7. Can shoot the three as well, but we'll, we'll try to. Get anywhere near that paint and then just jump over the defender. That time as Norman was playing the high side, anticipating a screen, some type of pin down, Wiggins just slithered closer to the basket. McLemore, two-man play with Nurt, leads back on the three and got it. Van McLemore. That's what he does. Shoots the three in bulk. The season ago, 77% of his total field goal attempts came from behind the three-point line. Wiggins takes it strong over the pack. Lillard comes the other way. Lillard with the Olympic gold inside on the roll to Nurkic. And they make contact with him inside, but the ball was spinning. As Unable to corral it, and the Warriors will take it back. Mac Lamar, he has been everywhere, man. Now in his ninth year, he's always been able to do this. Find the corner and find the range. Blazers on top here by one with two and a half left in the second period from Moda. Brooke Olsen Dam, Lamar Heard, Kevin Calabra on hand. Umpqua Bank rooted in the Northwest and keeping people at the center of banking. Umpqua Bank, where your Rip City Business Bank. Well, a couple of notes here. Damian Lillard scoring three of five. He has 10. CJ McCollum with a dozen to lead the way. Yusuf Nurkic, seven boards. Nasir Little in 12 minutes of work, seven rebounds coming off the bench. And Anthony Simons in nine minutes of work, five assists, no turnovers for a Blazer team that has turned it over 12 times here so far in the first half. Here's a look at Ben McLemore. 
veteran of nine years in the league Sacramento Memphis Houston the Lakers his last stop and a guy that shoots the three. 35% from three a year ago in 53 games. Played 17 minutes a night for the Los Angeles Lakers. Wiggins along with Curry. And now Bradley in the lineup with Green to screen. Bielitsa in the corner. Curry bottled up over there by Dame. Wheels it out. Eight to shoot. And Wiggins goes to work. Finds Bielitsa. The extra pass. Bradley flutters one up and in. Rocco was sitting in the help position. And his man made a cut. Warriors able to find him, and that led to the assist. Rocco passes up the three, gives to Dame. He'll curl off that pick, and he drills one. Lillard averaged ten and a half attempts a year ago, 39% from three. Across into the corner, Bradley. Wiggins, good ball movement by the Warriors in that possession as Wiggins drills one from deep. Wiggins shot 38% from three last year on his way to averaging nearly 19 a game. Norman. Dirt bodies up to wow. spring Lillard. He hits one of those patented Lillard threes with Green, an excellent defender all over. And he had Nurk rolling. But figured I'll go ahead and shoot it. If for some reason this comes off, you can grab it that way. How about the seasons? Over the last two seasons, you saw Steph Curry put together last year for Golden State, averaging 32. And then Dame doing this, this kind of stuff. <laughs> Remember two seasons ago, the dude averaged 49 points over six games. Was shooting the ball from nearly half court. Allen Iverson spoke about this recently. He gave Steph Curry his due respect because nobody has shot the three percentage-wise the way Steph has. But nobody has shot it with as much distance and the percentages that Damian Lillard has. It, it's special anytime these two are on the floor. Bielitsa show and go, and he drew Nurk into him for the foul. Gives it up, gets it back. Bielitsa right there, but the hands weren't up early enough. That time Draymond Green did about as much as he could do. But the elite shooters can just make these kind of shots. On the inbounds, Curry triggers, and he hits a three. Well, when Steph Curry last season hung 62 points on the Blazers, it was after the Blazers beat them in San Francisco, and he said he heard a lot of the chatter about how he wasn't able to carry the team. <laughs> and he came back, so, so as Dame is making these shots, you know he wants to match. 39 and 33 a year ago with the Warriors. 13 seconds left in the quarter. Differential here of about four. Green makes the catch. Pialitza rolling around outside. Wanted it to deflect it away. And right into the hands of Nurkic. Blazers have an opportunity. Covington runs the floor and will lay it up, and that's off. And then look out. Don't hurt yourself. Rocco's okay. So are we. First half in the books here in the preseason with the Warriors and the Blazers playing a typical Warrior Blazer game. A lot of threes back and forth and a lot of scoring. Tied at 60 apiece. Brooke Golzadam has the halftime. And I think we give an assist or two as well when we come back <laughs> to Motor. Halftime in Portland here at Motor Center. The Warriors and Blazers tied at 60-60. Brooke Olsen Dam moments ago caught up with assistant coach Roy Rogers. Coach, the Warriors with 60 points at the break. What did you think about your defense in the first half? Well, I thought our energy and our intensity was, was very well during the first half. Uh, a couple of concerns. First, transition defense. Golden State plays at an unbelievable pace. So we got to get back and get our defense set. And then second, they were able to get up 36 threes. We're trying to eliminate the three-point attempts. So we got to do a better job of closing out the shooters and running them off the three-point line. Get these guys inside the arc, outside the paint. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you. Roy Rogers, who was with the Clippers last year on the same staff with Chauncey Billups and uh, Kenny Atkinson, who's now on the staff of the Golden State Warriors as well. Teron Lou uh, does a nice job of teaching and lending himself to these 
these young coaches. Let's talk about the defense and what Roy Rogers uh, wants to implement with the Blazers this year. Well, we, we talked about it a little bit, I think, in the second quarter early on. The pick and roll coverage, that's going to be the, the first thing that will jump out at you that's different this season than in seasons past is where the Blazers consistently will meet that ball handling. So the guy guarding against the screener will step up. Will step up, meet, you, meet the ball handler at the level of the screen. As you see Nurk up high right there to try to eliminate the dribble penetration into the paint. And it gets a deflection. Yep. And that's what that's what that does. When you step up like that, you involve that big. You have to be ready to be in help positions and sometimes rotate, cross out of things on the weak side. Simon starts his third quarter inside his Nurk and works his way in deep on Looney, who has no chance against the Bosnian beast when he gets that low. Now, it'll be interesting to see as the season goes on. Uh, times when the Blazers might drop that big back if they decide to do that because some of its personnel driven You know depending on who you're playing against they, they won't beat you if you drop the big back and that's where you rely on coach Billups and his staff their IQs their feel of the game of when to make that adjustment but generally they want to be up at that screen Simon's five assists no turnovers in the first half Two-man play to Nurk on a inside out pick and pop and Nurk drills another three his second of the night You have been advocating that for a long time. I've been very reticent to go there with you, but I think I could be one over How does 40% sound to you? <laughs> I like, I'm just asking that I like that from three okay. very nice So so I've always said I don't want him to leave the paint. I don't want him to abandon post play altogether. But when it makes sense, if he can pick and pop like that, because that's tough to guard him. And a, a guy as big as him, if you don't know if he's going to roll and finish or pop and finish, that's a lot to deal with, especially when you got Norm storming down the middle. Former Bruin taking it strong. Blazers on top by four. Just underway here with Nurkic out there. Powell, Covington, Ben McLemore, and Anthony Simons. Toscano Anderson put a little too much on that one. He needed to club down on that one. 16 to shoot. Norman turns, faces, fires. Playing against a team like Golden State is exactly what the Blazers need as a test defensively because of how well they move and swing the ball. They force you to defend against the ball screen. The, the, the direct line drives. Jordan Powell is uh, utilizing that opportunity here in his third year to carve out more time for himself. He was getting nearly 20 minutes a game last year in 51 appearances. Powell steers it into the lane on a good exchange along the baseline to lay it in. Steve Kerr calls time. With the Blazers on top by three. Now well, for the first game of a preseason, this is a, a lot like a regular season deal here. And there's Nurkic making a nice pass to Powell for a bucket. We'll be right back. Here's the Les Schwab doing the right thing matters play. Anthony Garden, the ball. Nurk is reading. He's back there and help. Gets the deflection. And now off to the races. Goes back to the big fella down low. Has the one-on-one -on -one matchup and gets the two. Nothing wrong with feeding the beast when he's giving it to you on that defensive end as well. You've got to give him a little dab, yeah, you have to. as the kids say. <laughs> All you youngsters out there. Jordan Poole having uh, an impact in tonight's game from beyond the arc. Simons knows that, picks him up. Gets up, pressing beyond the three-point arc. Poole. Outside to Curry, touch and shoot for three. See, that's one of those plays. That's not really bad defense. That's just an exceptional shooter. And that's where Coach Willis has talked to his team about this. Depending on the personnel, as Curry gets the breakaway and the nifty layup. But depending on the personnel, you change your help position a little bit. Nasir was on that weak side, dipping into the middle where he was supposed to be. But they be say, man, I got step out here. I got to. <laughs> I, I got to creep out a little bit closer. I'm staying home. But but for the most part, they're in the right spot. And that came after Nurk showing and helping. So these are the plays that the coaching staff will go back and look at and, and make sure as you look at that attention to detail, are you in the right spot? Yeah, it's just different. That's, <laughs> yeah. just, that's different. This guy will just uh, exploit you. With him and the letter O <laughs> on the floor, they change the game. Stuff that you practice, you throw it out the window. There's a new defensive game plan. 
Simons with a nice little change of direction there as he was cut off and then spun back. Fades and fires and hits. Now Curry the other way. Crowding him as Nurk. Finds an opening. Looking to get it back. Does. Spins a pass into the hands of McLemore. Off to Anthony Simons. The step back from three in transition. Run down by Looney. Advanced to Toscano Anderson. Poole spots a seam to the hole and laid it up and in. Smart play from Poole. He's the trailer on that play. Full head of steam on the catch. Knows that he can accelerate by the bigger defender. Curry getting involved defensively over there, trying to muck it up. Recovered by Anthony Simons. This Sear Little puts his body into Lee and a foul called on Little. Steph Curry's in transition. Forces you to locate him, and when he gives the ball up, he becomes even more dangerous. As good as it gets in the league and moving without the basketball, lethal on the catch. Just puts continual pressure on the defense. Curry up the screen, loops it outside to Toscano Anderson. Back to the recovery. Rocco leaks out. That's too far out front. Curry in transition. Spots up. Covington comes down with a Curry, a rare miss here in the quarter. Simon's nice behind the back handle, then try to leave it for Nurk. Kick save and out of bounds. Curry wants a breather. And he'll come off. And then will come Avery Bradley, who figures to get those minutes at point or can play a little bit of the two, but mostly the point. Yeah. He can play interchangeably with Curry and Clay Thompson. And it gives you a defensive presence, obviously, as Lamar has talked about in the first half. And there is Clay. No timetable yet on his return, but they're happy with his progress, according to the Blazer Brass. On the inbounds, Rocco. Simons off the pick from the elbow. Nice pull up. I like this matchup for Anthony as he has Avery Bradley on him, who will hound him the entire time. And really force him to be at his best at that PG position. Nurk got popped with friendly fire there. Simon's got an elbow into his ear. And now Poole takes it. Nurk for three. Poole scanning as Bradley on his left, Looney on his right, and trailing is Toscano Anderson. Nurk steps up in the passing lane to deny that one out of bounds. Big year for Nurk, contract year. Nurkic, of course, has been hampered with injuries the last couple of years. The broken wrist last year when he went down on the 14th of January, reaching to try to strip the ball from Malcolm Brogdon, and it appeared to be innocent enough, but a broken wrist, and he was out for some time, didn't come back until March. Loco the rebound. Yeah, that, that was a really weird play when that happened in Earth. You wouldn't have guessed that something broke on that swipe. And then, of course, CJ was lost two nights later in Atlanta. Capella stepped on his foot inside. Nurk spins, and it's ripped away by Looney. And a foul. So the big man to the line. Now in his eighth year. Coming off uh, nearly 12 points, nine boards a game. And against these smaller lineups, man, he's going to put his considerable weight into people. He has slimmed down. He looks he looks great. The NBA is back on Root Sports. Don't be denied your right to watch every Trailblazer basket. An unforgettable moment all season long on Root Sports. Call your provider today to see if they are carrying your Portland Trailblazers on Root Sports. Great to be on Root Sports. Covering the Mariners all year. The Mariners had a, a wonderful year. Best to Kyle Seeger, an iconic Seattle Mariner. Into the lane. Cool. And he got hammered. Well, the, the Blazers uh, will look as well to be aggressive off the ball. So when you're guarding off ball action, there won't be a lot of sitting back on that either. So even off the ball, you have to make sure to help this set up wherever that weak side is because it's just more of an aggressive approach. Doesn't mean get risky and get out of position, 
Well, just more so taking the fight to the offense rather than letting them dictate the terms. Yeah. But football, you know, you talk to offensive linemen, they would much prefer to run block than pass block. Pass blocking, you're dropping back. Mm. Run blocking, you're firing out and hitting somebody. Uh, <laughs> you're taking it I know that much. excites you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like rumbling. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it was a party at our house when they got Cody Zeller. It's like, oh, a screen setter. <laughs> <laughs> Good deflection by Little to keep it alive to Simons. Naz trying to go low to Nurk. Checked by Bielitsa. Faces up. Six to shoot. Whirls right into the defense. Quick help to Scott and Anderson. Uh, that's what smart help defenders will do against those bigs. They'll let them sometimes take a dribble, turn their back, and then strike. Yeah, Jordan Poole making his mark here. 28th pick in the draft back in 19. And he's a double figure guy coming off that bench. Dance dribble handoff to Little along with Simons and Nurkic on the floor. Triggering a three is Little and taking it off the deck is Poole. 455 left in the third. Poole comes down. That's a deep three and he knocks it down. Well, he's hit about three out there. Uh, at that range seven for the game though seven of 13 and he has 30 points. Ooh. Yeah, that's, hands. that's serious. That's usually reserved for Steph, Dame, and Harden out there. <laughs> Warriors on a 17-4 run, led by Jordan Poole, 30 for the game, 15 in the quarter. Warriors up 10. Let's go down to the floor. Brooke Olsendam standing by. Well, Kevin, your football reference uh, before the timeout inspired me to do this story. Now, we all know C.J. McCollum's diehard fandom of his Cleveland Browns. Well, he and about 20 of his friends and family flew to Cleveland to watch them face the Chicago Bears in week three, about a week ago. They ended up winning 26 to 6. And as you can imagine, C.J. was absolutely elated. After the win, his friends Odell Beckham Jr. and Baker Mayfield came over to chat. He later told me they, they talk regularly. So maybe we'll see those guys on the road showing some love for CJ. This is pretty cool and just it was just neat to see because he talks so much about the Browns every year. He says this is going to be our year. This is going to be our year. So happy to see CJ so pumped. Brooke, was it you that was telling me that they actually have a Damian Lillard audible that they use at the line that Baker Mayfield will use? Or was I no, dreaming that's that? That's the Raiders. Is it you that told me that? That is with the Raiders. Oh, I also have Raiders. that story the we can Raiders. do in a little bit, just right here. But yes, they called an audible Damian Lillard. You could hear it loud and clear. I asked him about it. He said he thought it was pretty cool. And they actually did it a couple of years ago, too, as you guys know, a diehard Raiders fan. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a McCollum audible there. <laughs> Here comes Otto Porter Jr. tripping lightly into the lane and he is knocked to the deck. Over the last minute, two good moves from Anthony Simons. He got the finish on one, didn't get the finish on the second. Some of that picking and choosing. Just to go out there and just play. Try not to overthink it. But Coach Billups will walk him through. Sometimes what the pace needs to be, the looks, the reads while always empowering him to be his best. And Phillips sees a lot in him. Norman Powell, we were told, was taken to the locker room. And walking back there into his own power. Some hip discomfort. Otto Porter Jr. at the line. He finished the year last year with Orlando, split the year between Chicago and Orlando. He's been battling injuries himself over the last year. McLemore working on Bielitsa. Triple drive offering is off. Cody Zeller back in the lineup for the Blazers along with Nance, Little, and Simons. This communication. Yep. They lost track of Bradley. Well, and those are the plays where, 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 when they watch in the film. First of all, now Sarah and Anthony, they knew what went wrong right there as soon as it happened. But when they watch film, Coach Phillips is going to, as he says, put an address on it. <laughs> yes. Call out whose mistake it was. But it wasn't both guys. There was one person that's responsible to communicate that. Low guy can see everything you communicated. And they'll fix it. McLemore helps Simons, who was on the baseline. And then he gets it back inside for the bucket. Put an address on it indeed. 
Mulder, the Canadian from Kentucky, knocks down the free throw. Michael Mulder played in 60 games a year ago with the Warriors, originally undrafted, coming out of Kentucky. Now in his third year, his first run of the night. Cody Zeller. Nasir Little. The elite to the block. Zeller the recovery. Six to shoot for the Blazers. The pass intercepted. Otto Porter Jr. the other way. Of course, he started off his career in Washington with the Wizards and was a 3 and D guy much coveted around the league. Good pickup here for the Warriors if he can round into any kind of that shape. Demonstrate that play again. Here's Simons. He'll turn and fire the three. Anthony Simons looks live tonight. He said, hey, this is my opportunity. Fourth year. Now my opportunity. Well, look, like you say, empowerment is the word of these young players. Well, looking out there with, with who Anthony's on the floor with, Nasir and he are the two main ball handlers to, to beat a guy one on one. I mean, Larry can put it on the floor, out of pick and roll, make the right play. But right here, Nasir and Anthony, they got to be the guys with the dribble penetration, beating their man, trying to find that teammate. Miss Q here will give it back to Golden State. CJ Elevate back. On the floor for the first time here tonight. Let's take a look at the McDonald's McDelivery replay first, though. And Macklemore running into the play. Otto Porter rotates over, and the bounce pass leads to the bucket. Ellaby out of Washington State, went to Cleveland High School in Seattle, played 30 games a year ago for the Blazers. And Dennis Smith Jr. on the floor as well, who has been Intriguing, yes. shall we say. This past <laughs> week in camp, Lamar, you and I have been, and Michael Holden and uh, Brooke, we've been really treated to uh, some extraordinary play this week. And Smith has been a highlight. He's looked like the lottery pick. Like the guy that was averaging 15 points for, for Dallas just a few seasons ago. He's had a great attitude. He's been a really good teammate. Throughout training camp, communication's on point. And defensively, he gets after it. He, he will pick guys up three quarter court very quick beat you to the spot all rookie second team at Dallas and he's a 15 5 and 4 guy that year yeah outside ball deflected and grabbed here by that's here little 10 to shoot a minute 19 left Smith figures to be one of four guys battling for the 14th spot on this roster and there's Zeller making a nice play on the pass from Smith and the foul. Great pass from Dennis. Drove left, backed out a little bit, but it was to allow Cody to continue to carve out space in the paint. He's taking his time with the dribble, letting his big man do what he needs to do, and then delivers the ball to him. Cody, the youngest of the brothers, Zeller. Luke and Tyler both played in the NBA. Cody down his ninth year from Washington, Indiana. Played for the Hatchets of Washington. Porter fakes and drives. Oh. Nice dump off inside. Igadala oh. and then comes down and cracks Cody Zell. Oh. Igadala do right away. You can see when he made contact. He, he was grimacing for the pain. You see the blood on yeah, Cody's nose. Cody says, I broke my nose. Portland. Cody held the bridge of his nose and he looked at the bench and said, I broke my nose. And he has had some injury difficulty over the last couple of years. And you know, this goes hand in hand, not this particular injury, but just the looking back at the injuries to Nurk, Larry Nance to a degree, and Zeller. And you're talking about that 14th spot. On the team, you have Marquise Chris in camp as well. Six nine. Another big intriguing prospect. Or, or you got the veteran Patrick Patterson. You know, it's six eight, not, hand. The, not a five guy, but boy can shoot that yeah. three. Yeah, he knows how to play the game. Campbell's big coach Billups last season. Exactly. Except Except that role coming off the bench, and then you have Quinn Cook and then Dennis Smith Jr. all battling for the 14th spot on the roster. It's nice to have good options. So these are the additions to the roster this year, the guys that are under contract. And a Greg Brown 
the third is just a young 19 year old who jumps out of the gym <laughs> and is fun to watch yes but you know not yet ready to be a regular rotation guy but this guy gets involved in practice man he gets after it. Trendon as well Trendon Watford Trendon Watford a two way yeah. they they both have had a good training camp yes they have understanding that they're not expected to be rotational pieces right now but they've been soaking it all up performing well Dennis Smith Jr. swings it to the aforementioned Marquise Chris and that one rolling off into the hands of Bielitsa Curry is uh, on the bench Chris Choiza is on the floor playing the point into the corner Otto Porter Jr. waits and nails a three. He's a career 40 percenter from three point range, so you bring that off your bench. <laughs> you just don't get a break. Smith Jr. the other way. This is it. That's He's wildly cool. athletic. Beautiful drive right to the rim. That's it. That's what we've been seeing all week. I mean, he's under control, makes the right plays, even though he's known as a scoring guard. Makes the right passes. Doing well at Dallas at first year, and then Luka Doncic happened, and then off he went for Porzingis to New York, where things were in disarray. And so it's been for Dennis Smith Jr. We'll see more of him in the fourth. Warriors at the end of three, 100 to 85. Damian Lillard and the Blazers, hoping to improve on the 42 and 30 mark and a first-round loss in the playoffs a year ago with a new coach, Chauncey Billups. Warriors up 15 on the Blazers here tonight as we head to the fourth quarter in Portland. It's time now for the Pacific Office Automation Statistics. Now you can see the Warriors with 53 attempts from three, 21 of 53, and the Blazers 15 of 33. And the turnovers, Blazers 20. And the Warriors eight. Jordan Poole with 30 for the game, 15 in the third quarter. Smith Jr. tied up the pass to Chris, got away from him, but then deflected off of Warrior hands it out of bounds. Moses Moody in the lineup for the Warriors, 6'6 six, six out of Arkansas, 14th pick in this year's draft. He's been called a three. Three and three guy. Here's Little, the fallaway jumper, nailed it, peeling away on the baseline over Moody, who's uh, played for Eric Musselman down at Arkansas. Mulder triggers a three, and he hits. The ball was not in his hands for a lot of time. <laughs> a lot of quick triggers over here. Smith Jr., the lob up top. Broken up by Toscano Anderson and recovered by the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga, who is a wildly athletic player. You can see he is just sculpted. Uh, but the term that is used in the Warrior camp is he's still raw and learning how to play. 17 points per game in the summer league for Golden State. Really active. Late for the G League Ignite right there in the Bay Area, Walnut Creek. So they got a good look at him. He's been in the Bay Area for some time. Seventh pick in the draft from the Congo. And played his high school ball in Hillside, New Jersey. Deflected free to Chioza. Yeah. Move. Smith deflects it away, and then it's taken away from behind by Mulder. That's what you want to do if you're Mulder. Try to get that back tip. We've been playing both sides of the ball. As Little steps back for three. This is a true showcase for all the Blazers out here because they have all spoken about it's a new coach new system new opportunity for me to present 
myself, put my best foot forward, impress the coaching staff, try to carve out some minutes. Well, the Blazers got caught that time ball watching, and over the top it comes. And Chioza with the lay in. And Smith went on to play for the Knicks. It was a, a really disjointed situation. David Fisdale on his way out of town. The Knicks losing a lot of ball games. And Smith getting introduced and getting booed on his own floor at Madison Square. It does not help a young player's confidence at all. And then traded on to Detroit. And he finished up the rookie contract. Signed by the Blazers as a free agent. Foul on Moses Moody into the line comes Basir Little. Sitting alongside Chauncey Billups over there is Scott Brooks, who's been in the NBA a long time as a player. He's won a championship in Houston, one of your favorite teams growing up. Yes, sir. Houston Rockets in the mid 90s. And of course, uh, he's coached some just big time talent. Yes, he's played with Clyde, he's played with the Dream, played with Vernon Maxwell, and he has coached. KD Harden at Westbrook and he was at Oklahoma City as the coach and one time coach of the year in 2010 and then John Wall and Bradley Beal and then Westbrook again he was in Washington so good to see Scott Brooks on the bench on side Kaminga not bashful with that three and decent shooting for him young player brings that one off he'll have that green light yes he will that's what they do that's the DNA of their team uh -oh. Brown, the he, third. Might, he might get a step. If he gets a step on somebody, somebody's getting punched on. Langston Galloway out of the corner. And the deflection by Chris comes off to Kaminga, who shows those hops. Post Marquise against a smaller defender, but it's delayed to now. It'll be an offensive foul. Foul against Marquise. I'm saying as he was trying to get that post position and use the arm to discard the defender. Chris has been, we've been watching him play, it seems like forever. Yeah. You know, I, well, <laughs> doing the biography, he's just 24 years I old. Know. I know. I mean, I was talking to him last week and he said he was looking at a, a, a picture from UW when he was there for that season. And he's like, I can't believe that was six years ago. Yeah. And I, I told him, so we started here, Kev, the same year he started in the league in Phoenix. And I said, yeah, same thing. I mean, time flies because we remember doing his games yeah. there. Man, he was such a standout. That whole group. Jante Murray, Bible. And then the, the, the job Andrew Andrews did with him as a leader. Andrew Andrews was averaging 20 points per game. Yeah. That's straight out of out of Benton High School here in Portland. Problem with, with Chris uh, Washington was he just could not stay out of foul trouble. He was so aggressive. Yeah. I mean, an extraordinary shot block. Yeah. Brown breaks that one up. Good play to pinch in on the weak side there and get a deflection out of bounds. Yeah, Brown in this week of practice just involved on both ends of the floor. Always in the mix in their battle. Yeah. Not bashful at all to mix it up. Ball goes up on a rim. He's jumping at it. Inside out number for Kaminga for three. Smith Jr. Patrick Patterson, who we mentioned a moment ago, one of the four guys battling for that 14th spot on this roster. Cody Zeller earlier was struck by Igadala in the nose, an inadvertent elbow after he jammed it, and Cody was beneath the rim and got clipped right in the bridge of the nose. Nose was bleeding from the bridge of the nose, and Cody turned to the bench and said, I broke it. So that's all we know about Zeller. And then earlier than that, in the opening moments of the third, Norman Powell has uh, uh, had some hip issues. Uh, you don't think it's major. Back to the locker room. Here's Elevate on a deflection, grabs it the other way. Looking to pack it. But oh. it is broken up and it's fouled by 
to Scott Bo Anderson, who will give no free pass. <laughs> CJ been business. <laughs> Off to the races. Toscano Anderson, you saw him until she owes it. Chill out. I'm going to go get this. <laughs> he zipped. He did. As they're running, he used his arm and said, Chill out. Tried to go up there and get it. CJ Ellaby. Now, for, for some people, I'd say he'll make him think twice about it next time. But Toscano Anderson, he kind of crazy. <laughs> he'll go up there again. Warriors up 108-89, 7.15 left in the fourth quarter, preseason game one. Warriors up 108-89, 7.15 left here in the fourth quarter from the Motor Center in Portland, Oregon, USA. Fans for every Trailblazer assist that the team hands out this season, Moda Health and the Blazers donate. $20 to build a new all abilities playground in a deserving Oregon community. He's got six of them. Here's one. Anthony Simon going down to Cody Zellman to win up the assist. Yeah, but no turnovers in 19 and a half minutes. Yeah, take care of it. For the young Anthony Simons on a night when the Blazers have turned it over 24 times. So obviously, they, they need to work on ratcheting that down. Well, but, when, when the normal lineup returns and things get, you know, sorted out, you would fully expect that number to decrease because the Blazers led the league last season in fewest turnovers yep. per game. So they know how to take care of it. However, they want to play a little differently offensively. Maybe some more passes, earlier passes. That can make you prone to more turnovers. Or Coach Billups has a team good enough, led by guards who are good enough to make sure the ball goes to the right places. Nurk in the middle, playing out of him. We know he knows how to facilitate. Dennis Smith Jr. into the lane, double clutches and lays it in. Smith, a, a marvelous levitator, good handle on the basketball, and just knows how to play the game and defensively holds his own. But this is what you can do when you have a 48 inch vertical. Yeah. <laughs> you can just jump. Chill out for a little bit, figure things out, and then decide what shot you want to shoot. Remember that? We were in Dallas, his rookie season. He oh, got a breakaway late. He was amazing. Bounced that ball in transition, went up and got it. He remembers that too. I was talking to him about that last week, and he remembered it right away. He lit up the Blazers. You know, that was a phenomenal effort. He just needs a home somewhere and get himself going. He's, there's been a lot of transition, of course, in his professional career in a very short period of time out his fifth year Jonathan Kaminga along with Porter Jr. up top and a reach in and a foul call on the Blazers Belgian Blevins picks up the foul with the Blazers a year ago played 17 games and the president Damian Lillard This is Moody to Mulder. Porter Jr. It's a nice job. Rick Brown showed initially. Go up top to him. Oh, there he is. The third. Kev, that was after on the defensive end. He showed on the ball handler, got back to the shooter, contested the shot, tick off down the sideline. And Dennis Smith Jr. goes up top to him. Galloway at three, and then Brown. Good control tip to Chris. And the Blazers in business. Smith, the Euro, bottled up. Good defensive play in deep. Thanks to Galloway, rips it away. Marquise Chris with the outlet, get it to the middle. Now you got your ring. And when he's a high flyer like this, just put it up there, let him go get it. Ooh. Extended after the catch. On the wing, Kuminga. Spinning jump pass. Good help. And there goes CJ Ellaby running across the court to challenge a shot. 
Smith back it down on Mulder. The followaway jumper's good. Okay. Said he's too little. Mouse in the house. <laughs> That's the phrase Dennis is making. Warriors move it. They make the extra pass. And Porter Jr. is there to knock down a three. Oh, Porter Jr. playing with this unit. He's kind of found his rhythm now. And that's not good news for the rest of the Western Conference. No. You're bringing him off the bench now. Here's Blevins. With Clay coming back. Yep. And adding B needs it to the mix. Here's LB in there going lefty all the way and is hammered in five. CJ, he's been hot on his shots. Right, dunk attempt against Toscano Anderson and now this drive to the baseline. He is elevated. It's interesting watching Chauncey Billups work during the course of this game. He's been on the bench for the most part. Now he's up and he's a little more active along the sidelines. We're so used to coaches that, of course, roam around here like cage beasts in front of us going from one side of the coaching box to the other <laughs> contemplating their fate from minute to minute uh chauncey has been there for the most part he's been over there saddle on the bench he got up a moment ago and i hope i'll get some instruction and head back to the bench he was talking about engaging the officials the other day at practice and how you know when he was a younger player he, and that was a problem that he had he was a little too engaging with the officials Mulder outside, meaning he was combative with the officials. Mm -hmm. But spent time under Ty Lu last season, who he said he feels is the best in the league in terms of his communication with officials. Chauncey said he feels like Coach Lou as CJ Ellaby knocks down the three after some athletic drives. He said that Ty Lu has one tech in his career and it possibly got rescinded, so it's not even like he was trying to get worked up enough to get a tech. He wants to carry a similar demeanor if possible. And the key to engaging the officials, Lamar, use their first name. Yeah. I will help you. Look at this flying around. Otto Porter Jr. for three around and out and recovered inside. Greg Brown there stuffed it from Toscano Anderson, and then Smith got caught hacking away at the ball. Yep, a lot of flying around. It's good. It looks good, especially on the perimeter, but it's tough to locate that body for a box out. Usually you are out of position for that. But Golden State, they've been spread out really well on offense all night long. That was an example of it, and it paid off for them. Well, if you're just with us, uh, the numbers on the Blazers. Nurkic of 15 and 10 night in 23 minutes with four assists. CJ a dozen with a couple of threes. Lillard 19 points for the night. Simons with 10 points, six assists. No turnovers in 19 minutes of work. And Asir Little came up with a quick seven or eight boards in a very short period of time. Blevins in the exchange to Smith has it slapped away, stolen by Porter, and then Porter's flat. Well, the fans have turned out here at Mona tonight, anxious to see basketball live. Get back into the gym. And we're all, of course, pleased as punch to be here. Take a look uh, as we work our way through the preseason to the opener on the 20th against the Sacramento Kings. And we'll, of course, have the broadcast next week of the three other preseason games. Coach Phillips has said throughout this preseason, he hasn't fully determined you know, who he'll be playing, how much, how many minutes. But typically, as you get closer to that regular season, you fine tune some things. You start rolling guys out who are starters, and you play them closer to those starters' minutes. Yeah, I mean, you, we saw the, Damian Lillard. He's ready to go right now. Played 18 minutes. CJ's ready to go. He's just played yeah. the 12 minutes so far. Yeah. And these are two guys that they are very cognizant of. Uh, weaning them off the minutes. Lillard played just under 36 minutes a night last year. CJ 34. You know, if you compare that down by three minutes. Yeah. 
Good meaningful play from Simons to come in at that point guard position. And boy, he's, he's he knows it's it's on him this year to, to take that opportunity and run with it. And he looked good tonight. Look sharp. We know he can shoot. It. Yes, he can. We know he can defend, and he's got those incredible hops. Yes, can he make plays for other players? He's got a good handle. Here's Galloway the other way. Good battle inside. Blazers. Blazers as a result take possession. Kevin Smith Jr. who finished the year last year with the Detroit Pistons. 15 to shoot. Chris getting some run tonight. Zeller was popped in the nose. In the bridge of the nose. And had to go back to the locker room with it bleeding. Here's Galloway for three. Porter Jr. just looks better and better every minute he's on the floor. He was battling inside that wide. He got a controlled deflection. Now makes a pass cross court. And cashing in for three. That was Toscano with the pass cross court. They play the same way, no matter who's in the game. Chris, the spin. Warriors on the recovery. Again, push it back. Trying to get something in the opening six seconds of that clock. That's block. <laughs> Porter looks at the blazer bench and says, I was foul. Lillard <laughs> saying, I don't think so. Warriors up 15. Here comes Dennis Smith Jr. Greg Brown the third. Elevating. Yeah, that's a, a house divided right there. You got your Warriors, you got your Blazers, but they all seem to be good with it. The Warriors out on top of the Blazers. The Portland Trail Blazers making their regular season debut on Root Sports on October the 20th. Don't miss a moment or memory. Call your provider to make sure they will carry Portland Trail Blazer games on Root Sports all season long. Also the home of the Seattle Kraken. Great to see them get it, get it going. Lamar heard that's one experience I'm guessing you've never had. You've never have you ever been on ice skates? Yes, yes. You have? Yeah, why do you think I didn't have that? Well, because you've never skied before. You never did, done the downhill ski. Skiing is different than, than ice skating. Well, I, well, I know. But ice skating, you don't generally like break something. It's still skiing, something. you can go up, come back out of the So cast. where have you ice skated? I don't believe this. Where where to several places. Oh, well, you get ice skate. I don't is the Lloyd Center, they still got ice skating? You yeah. skate down I did Lloyd Center years ago, but before that. Yeah, did it in Houston? Galleria? Houston Galleria? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right yeah, off 610. Good. Oh, yeah, you're going there. But they're not firing pucks at you at 95 miles an hour, I'm no, guessing. I, didn't, I never said at I was the, messing at the with Galleria. That. You haven't lived till you've had a puck hit you in the shin. That's that's when you know you're alive. <laughs> oh, man. No, there's, there, there's other ways to know. <laughs> there's, other, there's a lot safer ways to just make sure you, you, you're still ticking. Where are you from? But we're uh, we're happy to be on Root Sports because I'm told I don't know I don't I don't dwell on these things I'm told that it doubles our viewership. Yes, More folks the same getting thing. the Blazers signal, getting the Blazer yeah. signal up there. People into, in Alaska into Alaska. You can go ice skating up there. When you only have like four hours of daylight. You know, make the most of it. That that would drive me nuts too. <laughs> what the daylight got to well, do with watching the game? You're gonna need diversions. You're gonna need sports. That's all I'm saying. Smith Jr. to the line. He's getting some run here in the fourth quarter of play, looking to, to, to find a home either here or somewhere in the league. 119, 103 count, 219 left here in the fourth. Blazers with Brown and Chris. Levins, Smith, and Ellaby on the floor. Chioza from Florida now in his fourth year. We'll give it to Kaminga. Kaminga, nice little up and under. Good footwork yeah, on the pivot. I, I like how Greg met him. He, he shortened the close out. He was going to run out there. Then he shortened it. Let Kaminga come to him. Kaminga took his time. He showed the skill. Fallon Kaminga is his third. 
Trent Ming has been his parents are still in the Congo we were told by the warrior PR great Raymond Ritter and he's not seen his parents for a few years devoting himself to playing the game of basketball coming from the Congo where Kempe Matumbo of course came on the scene back in the early 90s his mock Biombo is another one that's carrying the torch for Congo. Smith calmly drills a couple with the Warriors on top here by 16. A minute 52 left in the fourth. Chris on that weak side snugs in and deflects that ball away from the point but can't handle it. And the Blazers will take possession. Fires keys coming off. To a step in for Cody Zeller. The battle for that 14th spot. Heating up. Here's Galloway to the in line. Lefty lay. No. A minute and a half left. Blevins for three. And sails over the rim. And Chris with the fine. And he'll go back in there with some heavy metal. That's the hops from Marquise Chris. He's always had that. Levins turns the ball to Kaminga. Smith finds Brown for three. Cross court pass, Ellaby knocks it down. Pass gets away from Blevins, and it's recovered by Kaminga. Cross court to Moody, who stepped on the sideline. The two first round picks, Kaminga and Moody, on the floor for the Warriors. He's Chris, Chris catching that ball and just going straight up to the rim. Robert James. Good backcourt play in this one for the Blazers opponent. You see the same thing in the next one. Sacramento. Avion Mitchell, their prize possession in the draft this year. He'll D you NBA up. ready. Better right be ready because he's going to D you up. Here in Fox, of course. As quick as there is, in line to end line. Well, that'll do it with the Warriors winning this one tonight. 121 to 107. The Warriors led by the 30 of Jordan Poole, who scored 15 in the third. And here's Mike Brown, one of the assistants of the Warriors, coming over here to meet Chauncey Billups. Steve Kerr with Damian Lillard. Two of them with gold medals at home from the Olympics this summer. And today's Fred Meyer player of the game. We're going to keep you in suspense. <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> just, just keeping our truck alive is all I'm doing. Norman Powell, 13 points tonight. Nurkic, 15 and 10. And Lillard had 19. CJ with a dozen. What are we doing? McDelivery? Oh, okay. Here we go. Take a look at the today's summary brought to you by the McDonald's McDelivery. Here we go. The Warriors shoot 16. Am I seeing that right? You are. 35 percent. Blazers 16 to 38, 42. The turnovers: Portland 26, Warriors 12. Jordan Poole 30 points, 15 in the third quarter. Your locally owned and operated McDonald's, proud supporter of the Blazers. McDonald's now delivers. Any closing notes on this one? Yeah, this one was all about the attention to detail, getting familiar, learning the ropes. Right behind us, you can't see it right now, but Larry Nance Jr. was just with uh, new assistant coach Matt Brazzi, and they were going through a dribble handoff situation, just walking through it after a game. Regular season, you don't really see that kind of stuff once guys are in a flow of things, but this is what this time is all about. It was exciting just to see uh, a, a very good test for the Blazers. You want to get your defense better, you want to fortify it, Roll the Warriors out here. That's about as good of a test as you need with Steph Curry and, and pool the way he was shooting. 
So they'll go back, they'll watch the film, they'll put an address on it, yeah. and they will get better. Very good point. And Chauncey Billups, his first game. Yeah. Anywhere at any level. Any level. As a coach. That's amazing stuff. All right. Now, here is the affirmation, uh, aforementioned Fred Meyer player of the game. And who is it? Damian Lillard. Yes. Five of seven from the three-point line. He looks ready. He, he looks like he's going to be in MVP form again, as he was last season and the season before that. I hope we see his best this year. He's a guy that never takes any time off, but he had something like 20, 20 consecutive days, days of just yes. shutting it down. Yes, congratulations to Dame and Kayla yes. getting married this summer. And everything else that happened off. this summer for him, just spectacular oh, stuff. Jam. Uh, the juice. The he still got the, the juice, oh, by yeah. the way. Still got the juice. Final score, Warriors 121 and the Blazers 107. Next preseason game is Monday, October the 11th, right here at Moda Center. Director of Broadcasting, Jeff Curtin, producers Dan Hyatt. John Burns, our TD. John LaCrofka leads the way in the replay room. Johnny Mack and Charles in the audio room for Lamar Hurd and Brooke Olsen Kevin Calabro. Good night from Moda.